and gentlemen, the following contest set for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring and representing the influence from Melbourne, Australia, Tennille Dushwood. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> This match is a product of the failed partnering between the influence and the inspiration. I, I didn't see that coming. Shock. <laughs> of course. Unbelievable. Camille Dashwood, along with Madison Rain and Caleb Boudicay, they make up the influence. And this is just, I mean, you know, normally uh, the crowd has someone they're going to root for. Yes. Yeah. In this match, I just think the crowd wants them to beat each other up. That's all they want. They, they want a root to see violence portrayed on each other. <laughs> Her opponent, accompanied to the ring by Cassie Lee, and representing the inspiration, one half of the Knockouts World Tag Team Champions, Jesse Mookay! Again in their Harlem Heat inspired gear, the inspiration make their way to ringside. And D'Lo, I'm, I'm learning the words now. Lights down low, whoa, something too low, whoa, no. Your inspiration. That's a whole other side of you, man. <laughs> it's catchy, though, it's catchy. Listen, it, it, it's, it's easy to get lost and have a good time, but when you, you think about the fact that it's hard to kill. The Knockouts Tag Team titles of the world need to be defended. The Knockouts World title will be defended. Nikki James, Deanna Barrazzo, now we know it's a Texas death match. Wow. The Knockouts division overall is the place to be. It's the hottest. It has always been one of the shining stars of this company, and now it's the full view of everyone to see. The stars in the Knockout division are second to none of anywhere on this planet. Here we go, it will be Jesse McKay against Tennille Dashwood. Jessica, as you called her. Jessica, yes. Yeah, Jessica. But here's the thing, Tennille has Madison. You want to talk about some wrestling? Uh, conversation begins and ends yeah. with Madison Rain. There's none better. A future Hall of Famer right there, so yes. Uh, Madison knows the insides and outs of being in a singles, uh, a singles match. These two, of course, know each other well. In the same part of the world where the water spins the other way. I, I don't even know. Double kick here. Great minds. They both alike. Yes, you're right. Now, good zone. Put it down. Okay. I don't know. I saw Finding Nemo. I know how this ends. P. Sherman, 42 <laughs> Wallaby Way, Sydney, Australia. Put a right cross there. Just like that, Tennille Dashwood now with a standing side headlock. Take nothing away from Tennille Dashwood. Incredibly accomplished inside of an impact wrestling ring. Yeah, Let's no. see what Jess can do here. Jess has got to get out of his headlock here. Can she? That's the question. You start here and look. Yes. Getting the leverage. Oh. Nice. Instead of a tackle, went for a waist lock. Don't see that normal. Roll up. No. There's the tackle. There's the tackle, yes. Well, folks, we are going to make sense of what's going on here, and uh, you're not going to want to miss what happens when we come back. Welcome back to Hashtag Impact on Access TV. Tennille Dashwood of the Independence. Taking on Jess McKay of The Inspiration. Max Stryker and D'Lo Brown. Impact Wrestling Broadcaster. Throughout the break, you saw Tennille Dashwood turn it around, but right now, uh, uh, Jess is right back on top and taking it towards, just taking out on Tennille. Put it over onto the apron. That's where Tennille oh. wants this to be, in her part of town, her corner. Here we go, we've seen Tennille do this before. Neck breaker. Ooh, that was sideways, that's, though. That's whiplash effect, you see that. Cover. Two. Almost. Jess is hurt. Tennille composes herself and goes back to work. Tennille's showing us something there. Coming back from the onslaught and now 
taking back over on Jets. D'Lo, when we were talking about before the break how the knockouts division is the place to be, looking ahead to hard to kill, have, have you ever been in anything like a Texas death match? Uh, I've been in a Texas death match once before. They are difficult to be in, and it's not about beating your opponent, it's about beating your opponent so much they can't get back up. Okay. It, it's, it's a hard match to be in, no slingshot there, rope assisted. Cover here, Tennille Dashwood in for the win, not yet. Madison getting frustrated as well. Now Tennille, feel the pace has slowed down in this match now. Now Tennille just taunting Jess. Still to come tonight, our in-ring contract signing. A lot of volatility oh. to expect there as well. When's a contract signing ever going well in wrestling? I don't think so. Even the ones that the fans don't see. Those are the worst ones. Oh! oh maybe not as bad as that. Cover! <laughs> Think about that crossbody into, into, the, into the bottom turnbuckle. Yeah. There's nowhere to go. So all the force stays right in the body. Oh. Look up the full Nelson there. Is Tennille's fingers interlaced? I can't tell from this angle. It's an interesting angle. Jess is having a tough time even getting her chin up. And now, here we go, trying to rock, trying to alleviate. Good core strength there. Yeah, the, the fingers weren't interlaced. All the pressure wasn't on the back of Jess's neck. Uh, and that allowed her to get that vertical base. And full of hair by Tennille. Jess is able to switch the momentum and send Dash out to the middle of the ring and out clothesline. Jess McKay feeling it. Phonos, big clothesline, blocking one. Nice Rolling one. forearm, nice. Nicely placed kick to the wrist. Look at that, Jess McBigelow flying through the air. Nicely done. Cover. Nice cover there, too. Put that inner leg and lacing the legs together. Making Tenille work harder to kick out. You know, it'll inform us a lot about the inspiration, seeing both Jesse and Cassie, respectively, in singles action. Well, you get to see more of their offense yeah. and how they uh, adapt. Hang on, inside cradle, small package, nicely executed, but does not get the victory. You know, you see their offense and how they go adapt to a situation where they can't tag out, where they've mm -hmm. got to be the sole provider. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. wow! Fell right into the cover, is this it? No. Caleb. Caleb pulled out the referee. He's going to say something like, oh, I was checking your socks, but come on, man. And now they're pointing at Cassie. It was Caleb that did it. Yeah, was he, it Cassie that did it? They're pointing at Cassie saying she did it. Uh-oh. Wow. Oh. Wow, Madison just felled Casey. And from behind, Madison never saw Jess coming. This one's breaking down. Dude, Madison <laughs> laced Cassie. This one's breaking down. Oh. Here it is! Cover! Here is your winner, Tennille Deshwood! There's a lot to unpackage there. Referee Brian Hebner was in the middle of the count. Caleb pulled Brian out, tried to pin the blame on Cassie Lee. Cassie slapped Caleb across the face. Madison came and just duffed Cassie, and then from behind came Jesse Tenille with the spotlight. Anyway, you look at it. The influence have found a way to win, and they continue on their quest to be the best.